Well, Lyme disease is the most commonly reported tick-borne disease in Indiana and in the United States. It can affect people as well as pets both, mm -hmm. but people get it from being bitten by the same ticks that transmit it to pets. So preventing exposure to ticks is important for you and your family and your furry friends as well. We have a little guest with us this morning. Joining me this morning is Medical Director, Pet Wellness Clinic, Dr. Rachel Campbell. Dr. Campbell, good to see you Hi, as nice always. Hi, you. Thanks for having us. We brought my friend back. Bayla's back. Yes. She still can't hear, but she sees her mom, so that she's good right now. Yeah, she's being patient and <laughs> she's watching. She's not going to move those eyes, are you? She's a natural. So let's talk about the ticks. There are different ones out there. Which mm -hmm. one should we be, I mean, obviously all ticks are yeah. ones we should look at, but there are some that we should pay close yeah, attention so to. Yeah, so the things that we're, you know, that we were thinking about for today that we're, we're talking about Lyme disease is right. something that, you know, people get, dogs can get, and it's something that, you know, deer ticks are, are very common. Um, I think the biggest thing, like you said, all ticks are, are important to just make sure that we're keeping an eye out for because there are some of different sizes, some are very tiny, and we don't expect myself included to even be able to identify all the different types of ticks but just knowing how right. important it is that we get them off as soon as possible what should you do if you find a tick on yourself or a family member yeah so obviously i'm not a human doctor but so talk to your doctor about Correct. your own tick removal um, but in general with dogs um, and and cats what we have to do is make sure that we remove it as soon as possible you want to clean the area a little bit and it's one of those things if you're not comfortable removing it that's okay that's what we're here for we're happy to help you guys remove those um, um, but basically, you want to make sure that you, you, you uh, go as close as you can to the skin itself right. so that you're removing the entire tick. You don't want to crush the tick. You want to, And people will use um, forceps or a, a, tweezers, a tweezers. Yeah. At, um, at the office. We'll use hemostats sometimes to okay. just get as close to the skin as you can and very gently be able to pull the entire tick out and make sure if, it's, if you set it down, it's walking around, then you've done a good job. <laughs> and then uh, aside from that, making sure you clean the area after and monitor, look closely to see if you see anything remaining. What preventative measures can you take for the pet to, you know, to make sure that they don't have an infestation at first? Yeah. So, of course, um, talking with your veterinarian about your, where you live, the mm -hmm. area that you live in, things that you like to do. So, yeah. of course, if you're going to be someone who's going to be hiking and camping and going down uh, southern Indiana type uh, places, those are going to be places you're going to be seeing that. Even if you go to farms where there's fields, I mean, running around, um, the dogs love doing that. I mean, those are going to be places where ticks can be be a risk there. So monthly tick prevention, flea and tick. I mean, it makes me itch just yeah, like talking about just, it. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, protecting against both of those because it's so important because of those diseases that they can carry and that, that can definitely affect the pets too. At what point do you go see a vet? So um, that's the thing about Lyme disease specifically is mm. there's all these just very vague signs sometimes. Limping is a sign that we even see. Okay. It can affect their joints. The, mo the most recent one I saw was a three-year-old little bee eagle with a little swollen paw his uh, uh, carpus joint was swollen wow and uh, x-rays look fine and it ended up being Lyme and he also had a fever so you start thinking about Lyme if they have a fever they're acting lethargic if they have a swollen joint or they're limping and those are all things that we should be checking into especially if you're concerned that you found ticks on them before your clinic offers a lot of options and wellness for owners what are yeah. some of those things really quick yeah so um, as far as I was just gonna say um, part of our pet prime plan includes all vaccinations so okay. if you talk if your dog is at risk for Lyme disease we have a vaccine for that we booster it for two to four weeks after and then it's just a yearly vaccine and then aside from that um, all, all of your office exams are included so if you are like I really don't want to remove this tick this is disgusting bring it into us in, and we yeah. will do it for you and make sure that it's removed properly and we have some of the, uh, some examples up here you have a thermometer too yeah so that's if, if you're comfortable again you keep it for your pet you don't want to use it for anybody else in the family yes. but you can take a rectal temperature on your dog yeah. and in general if your dog is acting sick and they're at home and their fever is above 1025 to 103 definitely if they're not feeling well they need to be seen know your pet and yeah. you know most people who are pet owners do know their pets so yeah. if something's wrong it probably is absolutely and yeah. they'll walk into our clinic looking like nothing's wrong yeah. that happens all the time too when they're nervous that's yeah. okay we believe yeah. you because we know that you know your pet and you are like I'll have people come in like my cat usually jumps on the sofa and he didn't this morning like well I believe you that that they like routine they like to know like that things are the same so when there's something different we believe you and we can look closer at that so. all right dr. Richard Campbell yeah. with pet wellness clinic yeah. thank you so much for coming of in course. thanks for coming in nap babe. time yeah as it is for more information <laughs> just head over to our website fox59.com links Jim I will send it over to you